Hi, I'm Drone Diva Desi, and today we are taking a look at the Parazero parachute system. And the one we have here is for the Mavic 3 uh, series, but they do actually have the uh, parachute system for many others. So I'll give you the link to their website and you can check it out. So the reason that this is so exciting is because this is what is necessary for us to do operations over people. Now, it isn't just a parachute system. You will have to go online and get a waiver from the FAA, but this system will allow us to operate over people once we have our waiver for the Mavic 3 series. So I've actually had this already on display at several events, so it's not an actual unboxing, but I want to show you all of the stuff that comes inside this box. Uh, you've got some safety danger stickers that are going to go onto it as well. Here's some operational instructions that are on here. And then, whoa, there's the system itself. So this is what's going to actually go onto the drone. But there's more. But wait, there's more. We have, this is one of the cool things about the Parazero that I like. There's also a manual trigger. So what's going to happen is the drone, if there's any anomalies, this will sense it and de uh, deploy. But if it doesn't, you know something's happening, you can manually deploy it. Uh, so that's what's really cool about this as well. So we're gonna set that out here. Uh, we have these uh, that attach to the drone itself to help hold the system in place. So we'll be putting that onto our drone. So that comes in there. Uh, you'll also have a cable in there because you'll need to do a firmware update possibly and you need to make sure everything is charged. Uh, also in here we have a pad so that we can clean our area. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and attach. This is the mount that's going to go onto our drone. So we're going to peel these off. And then get it off my finger. And then there's a clip here, which made it nice. So you're gonna line it up. And then, so I got it onto the back. Well, I'll move my hand. So you got it on the back, it lines up in the grill. And then, wow, it's already on. Okay, so better hope you got it right. <laughs> As you can see, they have this red tag coming out. So we want to remove that. We're going to open our clip and then this pops out. And you want to keep it because you'll put it back in when it's not in use, okay? So now when you are aligning it, make sure you look for this arrow that's in front. And it sits kind of wonky because it's not straight. What it's going to do is when it sits on there, this one's going to be crooked and this one's gonna come down the back, all right? Keeping that arrow forward. So the way they recommend that we do this, flip it over once we know our arrow is forward, open this hook up, and then we're gonna pull it under. And now I'm going to move the, draw, the para zero over it, and I'm going to latch it into its socket. Once this is secure in place, then you can reach underneath here and open up this section. So it's got teeth on there. You can see the teeth. And then they clamp into place by biting those teeth. All right. Now when we're done with that, we're gonna flip the unit over because we don't want it to be covering any of our sensors and such like that. Looks like everything is secure on here. The next thing we want to do is open our props because we want to make sure that it is truly on in its proper place and we are not going to interfere with any of the props. Remember, this deploys if it feels any anomalies and we certainly don't want anything happening when we accidentally knock it with the prop. 
for our last step before we get to go out and try it is we're going to put on our sticker except I just tore my sticker gently remove your sticker <laughs> and they want you to put it right over the Perizero logo because it is danger. It is spring loaded. So they want you to put this right over the logo. So we're going to do that following all the directions and we are ready to head out and I'd say test it. But what we're really going to do is test fly the drone because we certainly don't want to really deploy it. All right, once we have the drone out here in place, I've got the drone on and it's good to go. Well, let's take a test flight and see how it works. Clear. Taking off. Fire charging rock. Look at that thing. I was a little concerned that without being on top of it, it might act a little wonky, but it is fine. It's perfect. Wow, very happy. Flew fantastic. All right, thank you for watching and reach out if you have any questions.